this video we are going to be looking at polymorphic relationships and um, we have been looking at some of the Laravel advanced concepts such as uh, eager loading and also many-to-many um, -many relationship which fall under eloquent relationships. So here we are going to look at polymorphic relationship. So let's get started. So what is polymorphic relationship? Basically, these uh, relationships are useful when you have multiple types of models that can be associated with another model. Now, for example, in our blog application, and uh, that is in this blog application, we could uh, implement a polymorphic relationship in a few different ways. So, for example, if you want to allow users to like both posts and comments, we could use polymorphic relationships and here uh, let's go to the home page so this is the blog that i have it has uh, these uh, cards and then of course you have tags and uh, so now we want to implement polymorphic relationship whereby somebody here can like the post itself and as well they can also come here and like the comment as you can see here so somebody can like this comment and as well they can also like the, the post itself so that becomes polymorphic relationship whereby we have multiple types of models and uh, we, we want to allow users to like those models that we have another example could be posts would be you have a website which has for example post comments and videos so you want people to like all of them that is the post the comments and the videos remember they all form models because you have a video model you have a post model and you also have a comment model all right so let's get started so here i have my vs code is the one that i'm using uh if you're new to this channel uh this application i created it when i was teaching about getting started with laravel um laravel from scratch and um we covered uh, all the topics actually that pertain to Laravel, uh, starting with getting getting started with with Laravel. So you may want to check that out uh, in my YouTube channel. I'll also I'll also leave a link in the description below. All right, so let's get started. So what I want us to implement here is to enable um, a user to like this post and as well to like the comment. So that's the whole idea behind polymorphic relationship. Now you can think of your website that you may be having that you may want to uh, employ this technique so let's let me show you how we do it so that you can also go and apply it in your own website so these are the steps for you to implement this so the first thing i'm going to do because i want to create um, a way in which we can like a post and a comment so i'm going to create um, a table so here i'm using linux um, that is ubuntu so here i'm at my terminal so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a table which is going to enable us to like the different models that we have within our blog application so this is the command so the command is php artisan uh, we are going to say make and then here we are going to have migration like this and then we are going to say create dash likes and then dash table and then here we're going to have an underscore which is going to say create um, is equals to like so this is just a symbol this is just a laravel command in order to, to create the a table that we want and of course we are migrating it at the same time so when i click enter here it will now create for me um, a migration whereby it has created for me um, the migration for the newly created table. So let's just check. So here, control P, and then I type likes, and then here I'm able to see that I already have the, the table itself. So this table is the one that we're going to define this particular uh, the, um, the That is, we are going to define, for example, because we want to allow the user here to like a uh, post, so we're going to have a user ID. We're also going to have a likable ID and also a likable type. So what's the difference? The user ID, of course, is the person who is logged in. So the, in other words, this 
for somebody to like this post he must be logged in he must be a user who is registered within this application and of course we have an authentication uh, in this application so and then the likable type the likable id is the post itself because the user will like this post so the likable id is the post itself so that's what we are we have and then the likable type is of course the type of the the model that we are liking and of course this is the post model as well as for also for the comment um, model so that is the the table that will constitute the different um, items we have so uh, let me quickly just uh, copy this too because there's no need for us for us to type it so let me just quickly do this okay now this is what we have so I have this uh, three elements here so what i have here is the user id as i've just described which of course this one denotes the post that we are liking uh okay the user id is liking the post and then the likable id is the post itself so the post itself is is the um, likable id there so that's what we have and uh, yeah so the user id of course here we should not say the post but the, we can say the 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 user who likes the post and so that's what we have there then the post itself liked of course uh, by the user so let's just have it that way so that's the user id the likable id and so forth now since we are we have a tables we have a table which is likes for liking the which of course the forms for us the table to like the different models we also need to have a foreign key and this foreign key of course is the user uh, foreign key so this is what i'm talking about so here uh, let me type this one let me not copy so here we have table which is going to go to the foreign like this and then we are going to have the user so here we have the user ID. And then the user ID is referencing the. So here he references then the ID. So we have the ID there on um, users. So that's what we have. And then here we are going to have on delete. All right. So that's what we have. And then. So I'm sure if you are an advanced uh, Laravel developer, you already know all this. So cascade, then like that. So here we are just defining the relationship between the the two uh, items, whereby we, of course we want to enable that, that is the foreign user ID. We reference the ID on users. In other words, this like like table is just having the ID. Um, that we are having a relationship between the, the user's table and also the likes table. That is the whole idea behind this too. All right. So now once that is done, so in uh, the next item is that in your model. So here we want to have a likes model. So like model. Let me see if it's there. So it's not there. So we just need to create it. So So come to your terminal here. And then here I'm going to have PHP artisan um, make should be that way make model and then this model we are going to make is like the like model so we are going to make the like model like that now once you are done with this you can come and check so this is the like model that we have here now uh so this is the like model that we're going to use in order to establish the relationship between the various uh, I, um, tables now before we we edit this like model let's go to the user model here and also and establish some relationship here so in your user model uh define the likes relationship in this way so here we are going to have a public function like this and then we're going to have its, its likes that way and then here we are going to have a return statement which is going to say return at this as many and then we are going to have the like class of course the like class is the model that is coming from the one we just created here so what does this mean this means that 
we are defining a relationship between the user and the likes table and of course we have established an an id um on the on the tables likes so that means that we have an issue between the likes table and the users table so that's what we have and of course as many means that this is many to many um, relationship so now once we are done with that one we have created the like model and uh, in the like model here let's come back here so what we are going to do here in the like model we are going to define something now remember we are dealing with polymorphic relationship whereby we can um, allow users to like more than one model so here we are going to define now um, we are going to define the likable relationship uh, so that people can begin to like uh, different models within your website so here what we're going to have going to have the public uh, function like this and then we're going to have this is likable so we define that function that way and then within this function we are going to have a return statement which is going to say at uh, this so we are going to have more two which means of course it's a polymorphic relationship that we are establishing here then we save this so what we have just done here we have just defined the likable uh, relationship so here basically this is likable relationship so the likable relationship is that basically uh, different users can like different models now within your posts and your comment you're going to that so this is the next item so within your post and your comment because we, we want these two models the users to like the two models so between your posts that is within your post and your comment model you're going to define um the likes relationship so here uh, down here you're going to define so that, so for example here we are going to have um so the the the, the function is going to be one so we are going to have a public uh, function and then here we are going to have likes and then here we are going to say return that is uh, this and then you are going to say we are going now to use the, the polymorphic uh, relationship keyword whereby you are going to say pof that is morph many and then here we are going to have like the model and then here we're going to say it's going to be likable so here I, I believe now you understand what we are doing here so what we are doing here is that we want to allow the user to like the post model here and that's why we are saying uh, coming from the the model which is the like model here we want the user to like the post model there so we have that uh, as it is so that's uh, that's how it is now we are go to the comment and then within the comment here what you're going to do here you're going to come here and uh, let me copy the same thing because we are establishing the like between the two so control c there and then i copy this to so i copy this so um so it's going to be the same thing because we want also the user to like our comment model so it's easy as that so now the next it, uh, item you need now is to adjust your post controller so that in your post controller you can now establish for example the the add like uh, function so here for example you're going to have um, going to have a public function this public function we're going to call it, to call it add like so user camo case there whereby we have the small letter first keyword and that second keyword is caps so that is camo case okay and then we are going to have post and then post uh, like that and then here what you're going to define here the first thing is going to be like variable whereby we are going to send this one 
we are going to create a new like and that is coming of course from the from the model then we are going to have the like so the like here we're going to reference the user because the person who is liking now this part here is is showing the current id of the authenticated user is the one we want to ensure that the person who is liking this is already authenticated so that means here we are going to have the id like this and then the next item is to establish the the likes whereby you are going to have this so save and then here you're going to have like like so and then uh, finally we're going to use the return keyword to return us back once that is done all right guys so here this is the id this is the the id of the of the logged in user so it must be authenticated for him to like this particular post so we have so what we have there the, we are creating the new like that is the new like is going to be created so we check if the user is authenticated and then here we go to the posts model and then the like is going to be done and then we are going to say that like and then we are going to return back the user either that is to the same um the same uh, place within where he is depending on the page he is now once we have created this the next thing we need to create is of course the the route because we have we have the function the function keyword which is add like so we now need to create the the route for this and we are going to access this through the that is the web web route so here uh, down here let's let's create this so what you're going to create here I may copy this one for tags we just copy this route and then paste it here so what I'm going to change here is the post so I'm going to change the post into into posts and then here I'm going to have a slash sign is going to be like like this and then here of course we have what we have here is the post controller so we're going to have the posts so we're going to have the post controller like that and then the post controller of course is going to this particular um so going back to so where do we have it so this is the post controller so this is what we are defining here the add like so when we come back again to the web here so here that this is what we are adding here so we are adding the add like that and then um the name here is going to take us to the post like in other words this is just what we call the the named routes within laravel so what we are doing here this post like is the one that we're going to use uh, within a view because now the next item here we need to create is a view so we need to create a view because now we need to to once the person likes is going to be returned to that particular view here is in so this is a post route and it, this basically means that we need to trigger it from a form in other words uh, let's go to the index dot index.blade.php uh, so somewhere here just look for somewhere and we are going to establish that particular um, post route because that's where we want the person to like the post from so for example let me where we have the tags so you can see here on our application so we have the tags here so we can have this uh, somewhere here Okay, let's have it uh let's have it before the tags let's have it before the tags so here is where we have the tags so the closing so let's let's have it there so what we are going to have here is the form which is going to be the form method 
and then it's equal to to a post like this and then you're going to have action so the action there is going to take us to so we have the route like that and then we have the now we are using that the same um remember the posts that we created here and see this is the the one here that we are going to use so basically we can even just copy this so this is the one that we created here so basically we want it to trigger it from the controller and then of course uh the route is going to submit this like to the database so basically that's what we have there so the post like and then here we we are referencing the post id so we are going to have the post id uh, like that and then here we are going to close this so we have this and then we have this as well okay so now so this is that way so the form action then the route we are going to and then um, here we are going to use a CSRF so here we're going to have the CSRF so you know the purpose of this what did uh, CSRF okay sorry about this okay now here we are also going to have we are going to have a closing so we're going to have this close like that and then here we're going to have the we're going to have a button this button type will be equals to submit and then we close this and then here we're going to have a like so we close this button like that so that's what we have there and uh, that's the like button that we have within this okay so once that is done i believe uh, unless there is anything else so we have implemented the like for the post model before now we go to the comment uh, model so we can check this within by reloading this uh, okay let me run my server again okay so we can check this again and see uh, what is happening okay so we have the like uh, button that is already now here and of course uh, there's something here you need to know um, there's, there's a database that you created and within linux oh, this is how you access your your database so here we can we can use the actually the database is already uh, it's, it's blog so the database is blog so we can have uh, show tables like this so th this is what i want to show you so we can you can see here we have um oh sorry we did not migrate the likes uh table we created it but we did not migrate it so let's just do this quickly so here is php artisan uh, migrate like this so this one is going to migrate the, the table uh, let's access the database again there's no password so here we have a uh, use blog it's the database and then here we have show tables as we had before so the table here is likes and you can see um that's what we have and of course we can we can also check what is in there by typing describe um, should be described table likes so that we can check what is there sorry uh sorry so this is just as uh, we should use this uh, so we should have select all from um so the table name is likes so select all from likes which is the table uh and i can see of course it is empty so we can we can also use this um describe um okay so that's what we have and you can see here we have the id and then we have the user id we have the likeable id and then we have the 
like a bot type and so this is what we created so far uh i was trying to select all from likes but there's nothing there so that's why it returned the empty set but when we have the described likes that's what we have now if you're using windows it's very easy you just need to go to your php my admin and then just um inspect from there by clicking on structure and so forth so just straightforward so here let me uh let me exit this let me run this uh so we have migrated the table so let me run this um command there now um so when we we like um eight of the post now it should show us the the like button and here i can see we have um the post method is not supported for the post route so let's see what could be the issue because here we are going to the post so the route here is the post then the post id we do have the route created this is what we have so we have this so the error here is um now if the post method is not supported let's just check our controller again so the post controller all right now when we look at the post controller we can see everything is fine although one thing i notice is that the, the user needs to be logged in in this application but then when we look at the error again we can see here is the post method is not supported so that means here i need to check my route so here web.php here uh, sorry i just copied this and then i just forgot because you are doing a post because you are liking and then the like um the likes are being um submitted to the database so we need to have it as post because remember i had copied this one here okay now so that's what we have and then we need to be logged in and before we do that because we have just changed this route we need to run this command php artisan uh, route cache like this so that it can just declare any cache and then serve now again here before i come back here i need to to be logged in because let's see when you try to like the post without being logged in there will be an error of the user id cannot be null because we know we have within our post controller uh, i don't know why it is um, here the person has to be logged in okay so what we need to do here i have the back end here so i need to be logged in i'm using jstream for my authentication so now i'm logged in and you can see that's what we have just ref refresh it again so let me like that post Okay, so now it has been liked and uh, of course when we come to our database here we can see um what we can see here is for example this uh, use blogs and then uh, select all from now you can see here we have a id the logged in the I, the user id of the person who is logged in the likable id as i told you is the post that is being liked and then the likable type of course is the model of the post which is that one so the model of the post now when we implement the comment the comment we're also going to have the likable type as being the the app models and then the comment all right guys so let's continue with this so so the next part is us to implement the like for the comment remember we said the polymorphic relationship works with whereby you can uh you can have you can like more than one mo mo model in this case so let me just be simple in that way so now let's begin so for us to implement for the common model just like we did within the post model we need to define the likes relationship in the comment uh, model so let's go to the comment model comment model so let's look for it sorry this is uh so we need to do, to look for the common model there so the common model this is what we have here 
um sorry is this the co yes this is the common model so the common model here what we have is um is the like class and of course we actually we did this when we started we we implemented for the post whereby i copied this code and i pasted here i believe you remember that so so that means this we want this model to be likable and of course that's why we see in the database here the likable type being now for the post now we we also implementing for the comment so we need to have this one this way now uh, to allow users to like a comment we need to create a model in our comment controller of course to allow the users to like a comment so now here we are going to add over to our comment and before we do that let me just copy this code because it is similar with what you are going to do so if you have a comment controller or just as you are following up just see what you need to do to implement for yours i'm going to copy this and then this i'm going to change this to the comment and then here i'm going to change this to comment like that and then of course we have the new like and then we have the user id of the person who is logged in it's going to save the comment now this is not in the post model but in the in the comment uh, model like that and then we save this so this is what you're going to have all right so this is this is what we have now uh once that is uh is is done we can now add a route for liking a comment just like we did with the post um route so to add that route we just need to come back to our web dot php which is that one there i'm going to copy this uh it is a post so it is a post not get so um, so we are going to have this so i'm just going to edit and uh, nothing is going to change only that now this one is going to be comment and here we are referencing the comment that is the the comment slug so that's what we have and then the like and then here we're going to have is the comment controller class so comment controller is that one and then the the comment controller class is going to go to the to the add like which is of course is defined within the comment controller and then here we're going to change this to so this is the named route so we are changing it to comment like as you can see all right so that's what we have and of course these classes needs to be imported i i have them imported already here so these two you need to import them in case you use this stretch of mine remember with laravel we have two structures you can use this format remember this was was introduced in laravel 8 so uh so and also you can also use this way so whichever one which, whichever which uh, whichever works for you you can go with all right so um so that is done and uh, after adding the like button of course for the comments finally we just need to go to the view where you, where we want where we where you want to display the comments and of course here we're going to add a form to submit the like um we just want to submit a form that is going to like the comments now before i do that let me just pick this form again so this form that we added here now i'm going to the show blade because the show blade is the one that displays the single post so within the show blade here you can see here is the one sorry not this one this one is for the tags there's another show blade uh I believe yes should be this one so this is the show blade for the single post so you can see here we have this comment here add the form here to like the comment here is where i'm going to paste this particular uh, form that i've just copied from the post from the index.blade.php uh, let me just uh, reorder this and then here i'm going to have um, so here i'm just going to change some few things and here what i'm going to have here is the route is now going to go to the common like so we are going to have the common like like that here we are referencing the comment id so it's going to pick the comment the id of the comment 
from where it is and then it will like and then of course this is going to be the same way uh, nothing is going to change the method is going to be post and so forth so that's what we are going to have there um in the comment yes we define this so let's check this and see if there is no if all is working well so if we click this sorry uh not exit here and we're also going to come back here again and see so let me um load this uh the route comment like is not defined and i already defined it don't know why Laroe, because this is the this is the the function and then this is the route so the route here is the add like comment and then the comment like so this route is already defined so when you encounter such what you do here is you need to run this command uh there's this command here that is the route cache should serve us uh, so let me reload this again okay so this is what we have and then we have so now here this is the a comment that we have already within our comment box so let me like this see all is working well okay and we are returned to the same page so when we come back to our um, our um, our table structure within mysql we can see here for example use blog and then select all from likes you can see now the likeable type here is the the app models and then the comment and you can see the the in other words the user id is still the same person and then the likeable id is that particular uh, comment right so guys so this is this is what we have so this is what we have so far now uh so we are done so this is polymorphic relationship whereby we can we can um we are able to have we are able to like more than one model so that is the idea behind this now if we want for example if we want to to allow we, we only want to allow authenticated users to like a post you may want to wrap the like button in using the out directive to hide it from guests let's say for example somebody comes to your website and uh, he's not he's not authenticated right and then you don't want him to like that post if he's not authenticated so what you may want to do here you may want to to implement this so we have this so we have um, our website back again so you don't want him to see this like unless he's authenticated unless he's authenticated so what you can do here is very simple you can come to to one of your your forms here and of course we have this one here and you can add this out directive which is provided by laravel so you can have this out and then here you can have end out uh, like this so that means that what will happen here when we reload this of course nothing will change because I'm, I'm already logged in but if i come here and i log out like this you can see now they have disappeared because no one because i'm no one is logged into this particular application so that is one way you can hide if you don't want uh, any person to see you can do the same for the comment of course it's going to work now somebody may be asking himself or herself uh, so how can i check the likes that i have for a particular post for example you are making your own blog and you want to see how many people have liked that post or you want to show the count of the likes within a post this is how you may do it just come to just come to any part of your application for example uh, let's come here uh, beneath uh, the body now within the body here for example i've liked this post i think one time but we can check through this uh, code here so we have likes and then here we can have this so we have uh, so what you're going to do you're going to have post 
and then you're going to say posts into likes and then you're going to have you're going to have the count so the count is going to count how many posts that uh, have been how many likes do you have for a particular uh, comment or post whichever so and then here let's end this with the paragraph so that it can be in one particular place so here we have the likes and then here we have the post variable which is going to the likes and then it's going to check how many uh, likes do you have for the particular post or comment okay so um so this is what we have so we have this so let me so what i'm going to do here is um let's log in because remember what we have implemented i'm going to log into that application and you can see here um okay, so let's like this page expired okay so i think there was an issue with the cache and so forth but you can see here the like is already it's one here here it's zero here it is zero so you can see here the like is one and then here it is zero now uh let's do this to avoid um what i'm seeing let's remove this for now let's just have it like that without the without it having to check so when you like a particular post here it's going to show it's going to show the like count like this and of course uh of course we can also do for the comment so for the comment we can come here so for the comment we just need control p and then show blade for the post which is that one so the same thing we can also do okay let me just uh, grab this so here and then i come to the show blade so the show blade you can add it whichever place that you want to add it to for example the other one i had added just below the body you can also have this one below the body there like that and then oh, sorry this is uh, okay so you can see so the comment the like was one and when you like of course it's going to Actually, it can like more than one because the the ID of the user is still one. But if another logged in user comes in, or somebody comes into your website and logs in, uh, let's say you have ten people, so you may have ten likes for that particular uh, comment. All right. So guys, so this is it. So um, you can go and implement polymorphic relationship. However, th this is just an example. It can go a long way because as a start of the the video, I told you. Um, polymorphic relationship can also apply for example you have posts you have comments you have videos so you and maybe you have another model which also deals with something different if you want for example to implement the likes for all those models you can do it through use of the powerful polymorphic relationship concept within laravel so let's meet in the next video remember to like share this video uh all right so let's meet in the next tutorial.